Hi, I'm Dr. Supreet. We've all heard this exercise more, eat less, you'll burn off calories, you'll lose weight. The entire fitness industry and health food industry relies on this one word, calorie. But people who constantly struggle to lose weight know it doesn't work like that. Yeah, calorie is a calorie. At a basic level, this statement is correct. A calorie is defined as the amount of energy liberated when a standard unit of dried food is burnt off, regardless of the type of food, carbs, fats, protein, etc. This has been the basis of calorie counting technique for decades. Many people rely on this calorie counting to read food labels to make their daily nutrition choices. What if this lab-based approach has been misleading us into thinking that we know nutrition and diet? One real-life study exposed the truth. The study subjects were fed identical diets to keep the weight constant for six years. The only difference was that one group had 17% unhealthy processed trans fats and other group had 17% vegetable oils. The results were shocking. The one with the trans fat accumulated visceral unhealthy belly fat, insulin profiles were much worse and they gained weight. Therefore, all the calories are not the same. 2000 fast food calories have very different energy consequences than 2000 calories from fresh fruits, grains and vegetables. Far too long we've taken the accuracy of our food labels for granted, but the formulas behind them are over 100 years old. They depend on burning the food and applying the calculations to account for different rates of absorption and digestion. These formulas disregard the effect of how old the food is, the effect of different cooking methods which dictate how much of food is absorbed and the rate of glucose rise in the blood. Also, people with longer large intestines can extract more calories from food than the shorter ones. Some studies have shown a difference of about 50 centimeters amongst populations. These formulas are based on estimated averages in a non-average world. Errors have been found overestimated calories in foods like almonds by over 30%. Do you know manufacturers are legally allowed error rates of about 20% on their food labels? The idea that the source of calories is not important can lead to major imbalances in intake of fats, carbs, protein, etc. A noticeable high or a low in which can lead to serious health consequences. Although restaurants and cinemas are now required to provide calorie count on their menu, but how will this help the customer is unknown. It may force the manufacturers to reduce the number of calories in their new products. How the body produces energy from food varies enormously depending upon what is the source of the food, how much you chew it, how easy it is to digest, what do you eat with it, etc. And your response to calories also depends on your own physical and genetic makeup. Last but not the least, on the microbes in your own gut. Scientific studies have also shown fourfold variations in blood sugar response due to gut microbiome rather than the type of carbohydrates and glycemic index. If you've seen my previous videos, you already know how to keep your gut microbes healthy. So from now onwards, stop counting your calories and watch your nutrition. To know more about such nutrition and health tips, follow my channel.